guys, it's Ashley. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to the channel. This month I am doing an Ipsy an Ipsy review for the month of April, like I usually do every month. Um, make sure you guys comment so I know that you are liking these monthly videos, whether I should keep doing them or not. But we're gonna get right into them, and I'm gonna start real quick with my March re recap to um, let you guys know if I still use those products or not. So let's get right into it. Woo! All right, so as we remember, the March bag was this lovely, beautiful bag, and um, as far as the products go, there's only two that I really did like continue to use. Definitely the whip cleansing cream. Um, that was one that it's almost out because I use it quite often um, at the end of the night. And then the glossier um, coconutbalm.com. I still use that probably, I'd say, sometimes I forget to do it every night, but it's a product that I'm definitely using, using frequently. Um, as far as the other products go, I told you guys about how I don't really use eyeliner that much anyway, so I haven't even touched it since I did it for the video last month, And um, but I still think it's good to have. Like, if I ever want to do it, I have it, so it's good to have um, as a, an eyeliner. The brush I've only used, I think, once to um, apply some powder foundation just to try, just to try it out, because I haven't used it. I just wanted to see how... Um, it was going and I just really haven't used it since just because I have um, the brushes that I already used for that purpose. I just wanted to try and like <laughs> try and use it. And then um, the lip gloss, the fairy lip gloss, I handed off to my mom so I don't have that here to show you. Alright, so let's get into this month. Um, I tried to use all the products <laughs> as getting ready for this video and I tried to like make, make a little theme going on. Um, this is the bag. I. I actually like I'm not really into butterflies but I really like the coloring of this and like the zipper is like this really pretty rose gold and it's kind of like we got some like pastels and some shininess going on and I actually just I really do like the bag and I didn't think I would because I'm not really a like the girly butterfly thing going on. I like flowers but I usually don't um, go for that but I actually really do like this bag and I think it's really pretty. A cute little card that says Social butterfly, and it says, fact, life is too short to skip all the fun stuff happening right now. So the first item that I got this month was this hand cream, this ultra nourishing hand cream. It's by Delectable, and to me, it's just kind of like your regular hand cream. I honestly think I might pass this off to my mom for like Mother's Day or something. I'm trying to think of like what smell this is. It has like a, it makes me think of Christmas when I smell it. <laughs> it makes me think of Christmas when I smell it and it kind of looks like spring. So I think that throws me off. It has like a, like kind of like a peppermintish smell to it. I don't really know how to describe it and I'm not really big on peppermint smells. That's just me. Um, I don't really pick those things up during Christmas. I think I'm just going to pass this along because I have other hand creams that I use that I prefer because I'm actually, I use hand cream daily because like my hands get really dry so this kind of was just like a normal hand cream for me. Um, nothing too special but it's, it's a hand cream. <laughs> my next product that I got was um, by Trifle Co Cosmetics. It's Sugar Bunny Lip Scrub and it's super cute. I like the smell. It doesn't, it has more of like um a sugary candy smell than like a natural smell. It's good, it smells good. Um, when I used it, it was nice. It felt very um, oily when I put it on my lips and I liked it, it's just I feel like as soon as I wiped it off it kind of makes them feel like tighter and a bit drier. I like it for a lip scrub and I'm not sure you guys will have to double check me on this, but it doesn't say anywhere on here that you can eat it, so, oh it's watermelon flavored or scented. But I don't know if you can like, if it's edible or not, and um, I didn't like get a chance to check or anything. So if you guys know, if you guys um, do know or not, please let me know because if I were to say like something bad about this product, it would be that I prefer like Lush's um, edible lip scrubs because I just feel like it's an easier, quicker cleanup. But if it is edible, just let me know. <laughs> okay, next we have this Pretty Woman Nail Polish. Um, it's really... It's a really like nice nail polish. I like the way it looks and the packaging and everything. Um, 
I sh my nails are a little bit chipped, but I wore it throughout the week to try it out, and I'd say it's upkeeping pretty good. Once it dries and everything, I did two coats, and it does come out just a little bit darker than what this looks like. But I think it's a nice nail polish. I have I like the pastel purple. I think it's very spring. It's not too bright for me. It's like it's like neutral, but has color, so it's kind of like what I what I usually go for for wearing. So this is something I will definitely wear again, and I'm um, pleased with it. And I needed more nail polish anyway. So I'm excited about this one and it's super cute. And then next, I'd say this is probably my favorite product I got. It, this is um, Nomad's Highlighting Powder in Midnight Sun. And on the little box it says, it's smooth, blendable highlighter with fine champagne pearls and infused with black currant extract to help illuminate your skin inside and out. So, oh, and like the box is super cute too. I like that too. It's a nice little black brown packaging and this is just my favorite because I do have one highlighter palette that I got and this is to me this is just the color I prefer um, it's nice and light and I think it looks nice on my skin tone I just really like the highlight of it so I was very excited about this one and this I have been using daily since I got it so it's on me right now um, it's a good product and then next this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and I don't see a shade on here, it just says shade 11, oh, Milan, it's a uh, shade Milan. So, my thing on this, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, like this might be a nice color, it's like, kind of like a pinky nude, but then when you open it, it just, it doesn't look like that to me, like it, it kind of looks different. I'm wearing it on my lips now and I feel like it even looks brighter than. Um, I'm not really big on super bright lipsticks. When I wore this the first time, this is my second time wearing it. Like I started falling in love with it the more that I was like looking at myself and I was like, oh like it actually is kind of cute but I feel like if I'm going to wear this, it's going to be in summer or spring and I think that's the only time. I really, my favorite part about it was putting it on, it just smells so good. It smells, like I just really love the smell of it and putting it on it had a very nice velvety feel, like it was really nice to put on. I think it's a good product, it's just not really um, my color and also I felt like after wearing it for a bit it did start to get a little bit streaky but I think it's a good product, it's just not really a shade that I see myself wearing. You guys let me know if you think this shade looks okay on, on me or not. It's just not usually, like to me, I'm just like, oh, this is really bright. So let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I think that is all for this month. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. Um, let me know if you had a favorite product, if you do at Ipsy. You know, um, let me know anything and I'll make sure I leave you a comment back. And check out Courtney's last video. It's a good one. And I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day.